Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to lesson number 12, I believe. And in this video, we are going to be uh, changing our menu's behavior a little bit. So we're going to be showing and hiding some menu items depending on whether a user uh, is a paid member or not. So what we are going to do is, uh, we're going to be using this plugin, plugin called Menu Item Visibility Control. And so what we're going to do is, Go to plugins, add new. Let me just copy and paste this here. Search for the plugin. Uh, I believe it's this one. Yeah, it's, it's this one. Let me just install it. Install. Let's just activate it. Um, yeah, so now it's active. So what I want to do is go to appearance menus. We have these four links in here. I want to change the name of this one, say become a member. I also want to uh, have a uh, dashboard and account links. So I also want to add a login page here, right? So I want, to, I want it to be here. So I only want the account and dashboard pages to be shown when people are logged in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, uh, let me just double check it. it, says if this user logged in. So I'm going to change uh, the visibility here to uh, is user logged in. This is going to be a condition that we are going to use to determine whether we can show or hide the account page. And for the dashboard page, we're going to make things a little bit differently. So uh, if I go to member press rules, what I can do is go to, I use the same rule that we are using here to determine whether a user can use the dashboard uh, or not. And I'm just going to copy this piece of content uh, and paste it. And so this is, this is, uh, a function that MemberPress provides it checks if user has uh, if user is allowed to access a particular piece of content on the website in this case the dashboard page uh, yeah so we're going to be using if so let me just copy this piece of text everything inside this if statement and go back go back to dashboard and yeah just paste it in here so basically if user is an active uh, member and is allowed to uh, and he uh, he has access to the dashboard page uh, we're going to show him the dashboard menu item if not we're going to hide it and for the login page I'm just going to uh, for the visibility I'm just going to say uh, is not logged in I believe uh, let me just double check it yeah just copy this piece and paste it so if user is not logged in, we are going to show him the login page and become a member also if he is not a logged in user. Let me just double check quickly member press, uh, member press rules is user paid member. Maybe member press provides a better rule for that, for that piece, but available short codes maybe here. Uh, no, 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 this this is not what we are looking for. Advanced rules, maybe this is the one. Um, yeah, so we can also we can also hide uh, use this piece of content to determine if user is an active member of the particular membership. So what we can do is use either this rule, and we're going to have to change this one number to the ID of the membership, which is, uh, if you go to memberships, you click on edit, or even here you have the ID, or here you have the ID of the membership. So we would have to use the 53 number and instead of this one. But in our case, we're just going to uh, be using this rule. And so the dashboard page is only a visibility of user is uh, allowed by the rule. To access it, the login page is only visible if a uh, user is not logged in. The same thing is true for the uh, membership signup page and for the account page. 
we're going to allow it if user is logged in. So I'm going to save menu. It should be sufficient enough. Uh, what we can also do, maybe in this uh, case, we can use actually, you know what, let's just use this rule. Current user can, and he, if he's an active member of the membership that we have, only then we're going to allow him to access the account page. Right, so let's save it. And let's just check how it works. So right now, um, uh, obviously if I am a super admin, I'm still going to be able to see this. I can access, I can see the dashboard and account pages, but if I go to incognito mode and I can only see become a member and login pages, right? So if I go, try to go to dashboard, for example, I'm going to be redirected back. So this is it for this tutorial. I hope you found it helpful. And in the next video, we're going to be connecting our member press with MailChimp. So stay tuned and let me know in the comments area what you think about this video. Thanks.